Yo, uh, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your, like, uh, your photos better in Instagram right here, as you can see on your screen. This is what I mean, this type of upgrade. I'm going to be showing a few other things as well you can do. Uh, yeah, just watch the video. I uh, hope you guys do really enjoy this type of content, just tutorials and Photoshop stuff. Uh, and yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you guys do have a good day. And this, I will not guarantee that this will get more likes and stuff, but you know what I mean? It's just it's gonna make your photo better looking, if you know what I mean. It's like the more aesthetic vibe kind of thing, you know what I mean? Hey, anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy, like, subscribe, and yeah, see ya. Alright, so open up Photoshop and open up your photo. I'm just using this photo, this is not my photo, by the way. Um, anyway, what you wanna do is, first of all, you wanna, okay, so first of all, you wanna control J, just copy this, control J. They want to put the this right here over to overlay just like that once you've done that you want to click filter and then blur and then gaussian blur put that to 10 and boom now it looks something like this you can put the passive bit down if you want but i just want to keep it at 100 i'm not gonna lie now what i like to do is i want to copy this again then press here and then press on lighten and now put the passive bit down till until you like it until it gives you that little glow you want, you know? Uh, to be honest, like 59, 57 maybe is pretty all right. But now what I like to do is copy this one, but control J, you know, and then linear dodge add. And then I wanna put this at like 12. Yeah, it just adds a little, you know, you know what I mean? And now what you actually can do is you can go in this right here, that the first layer, control J it, so copy it, filter and blur and then motion blur put whatever settings you want uh you can add like a bit more maybe 40 and then boom you can put it on screen or actually whatever you want to put it on whatever looks best overlay looks pretty all right so we can put an overlay there we go you can put the opacity bit down actually we can keep the opacity high on this and then opacity down on this a bit just like that Anyway, once you have done that, now what you can do is you can actually merge all of these, put a group, and then Control E. So, okay, wait, hold on. So you select all of these, press the group button, then once you have the group button, you press Control J to copy it, and then Control E to merge it, and then you can hide the one behind it, and there we go. Now you have this. Still not done. You can add another layer, and then pick the color of your jacket or whatever you want to highlight, like a thingy like whatever color you want to highlight in the picture so for example this i am gonna have yellow so just boom boom and then you can actually put it on soft light and put the passive bit down there we go so look it'll look something like this you know just stands out a bit more you can actually just make the edges a bit better you know what i mean there you go once you've done that, there's actually some stuff left you can do. And here is another thing you can do. So you can create a new layer, uh, or actually, no, not create a new layer. You would just want to go on the layer, the merged one. And then you just want to select this tool right here, the polygon lasso tool. I just want to do this right here. Just cut out the head like this. Once you've done that, press Control J to make a layer out of it. And then press filter and the plus blur and then press motion blur a lot of people like to do it like this just to like blur their head or whatever so they like you know but i'm not gonna do it for this tutorial but that's just like a thing if you want to do that you can just do that right there that's just it you can also do the same hold on you can also do the same where you do this all right and then you do here and then radio blur i think or was it yeah i don't know if it works yeah i see kind of works you know what i mean so yeah that's what i mean so yeah you can do that stuff if you want to but now what you want to do if you're done you want to control e merge these and then want to press filter and then you want to press um raw filter camera raw filter now i want to change up on these settings just to make it look better so you can put temperature to a bit colder like if you want like the bluish or warmer if you want like the yellowish or you know what i mean but i want to kind of have like a bluish tint you can change that as well i'm just gonna put a little bit up exposure a bit up contrast a bit up highlights a bit down just so i can see more this can be just like that this can be like that and then 
with this like that textures i like to put textures at 100 which makes the things better this you can have it at 100 if you want like this type of style or you can put it at zero if you want like more blurry i'm just gonna put it a bit up and then the haze i'm not even gonna touch that here saturation i can put that up and vibrance a bit up as well so look if you press p now you'll see how it looks before and after so i made it a bit more like this you can actually add curve as well so if you uh there we go and you can basically add more detail you can add like 76 but that's really not necessary look like this but that's not really gonna work yep all right so just keep that at zero uh yeah press ok once you're done and it'll look something like this you're still not done what you want to do now is you want to click filter and filter gallery now what you can do is you have all these different options that you can like just put on your thing you know what i mean i like to add film grain but um you don't always have to do that you can add this just like just different filters you can just check these out whatever you want to do i'm actually going to show you something in a second just looking at all of these hold on All right, so like I said, I like to add the film grain and then put it around like two or three. I like two the most, so it looks like this. And that could be it, you could be done right there. But actually, what I wanna show you is, bro, I can't talk today. What I wanna show you is I duplicate this layer, put filter, and then I'm gonna put a filter gallery. And then you can change this. Hold on, let me put like glowing edges. Boom, and I can put it on over or screen or anything kind of and you can actually move this a bit to the side just a bit to the side if you know what i mean just makes it look all right you know it doesn't work always but hey what i like to do is add film grain like i just said so let me just add that real quick film grain boom here you could be done and you basically updated your i mean upgraded your thing but if you don't want that type of film grain and you just want to click look there's another way you can get film grain look you can cl click here solid color pick like this color uh, and then press here add noise and then add noise and press rasterize and then put whatever here and then press screen and then you can put the passive bit down so you can have this type of grain so this is gray grain one and then look hold on this could be grain two hold on. uh and this could be grain three so i'll show you right now so this is so this right here will be grain two which is the normal way that i showed you at the first at the start so just like that and it did not work oh it did work never mind so there you go and the grain three is actually press here and just do it the normal way there we go so look you pick whatever looks best for you so if this grain looks best for you then pick this one but if this method is the best for you then pick this one or if that's method is best for you then pick this one so whatever you like the most is whatever you can choose bro my opinion i like either to be honest they're all great I don't know but you just pick one of those uh anyway still something i can show you if you like want to highlight like hold on if you like want to pick like a spot in your thing okay wait hold on uh, let's just use this one all right so if you just want to like make something stand out a bit more or like if you want to like like this if you want this to stand out hold on what you can do is you can pick the sharpen tool and then you can like sharpen it and it will stand out more i'm pretty sure see i would just like like if you pick the lights right here this also works for the eyes kind of if you want like sharper eyes oh it just looks all right you know what i mean but yeah there is basically nothing else i want to show you um Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did like this video, 
then make sure to subscribe and like and i hope you guys did enjoy yeah yeah everything yep all right yep <laughs> and have a good one <laughs>